Have you ever imagined yourself in a cartoon or teaching a biology lesson as a cartoon character? Well, now you can. Introducing Toondoo. Anyone can use Toondoo. It is an alternative to the boring, overused PowerPoint presentation. It's an online program only requiring internet connection. No upfront program costs. This is the Toondoo main page, located at www.toondoo.com. It is a cartoon maker that can be easily used in classrooms for many purposes. It is so easy to use that anyone in the elementary school, through high school, and even adults can use it. Examples of other cartoons are included to give you ideas on how to expand your cre creativity. Because the main page is a little busy, it can be hard to locate the sign up or login buttons. If you look up in the right hand corner, you will see a red button with the words, sign up for free. Simply click here. There are two options for signing up. Toondo Spaces and Toondo. For this tutorial, we will be using Toondo. If you want to explore Toondo Spaces later, there is an easy 30-day trial that you can try before committing on how much you want to spend. Otherwise, Toondo is free. Click on Sign Up for Toondo. Next step is entering a username, password, and email. Toondo will quickly tell you if the username you have chosen is unavailable. This makes creating an account very accessible for students as long as they have an email. If students don't have an email address, you can quickly set up a Gmail account. After creating your account, you can simply click on the Login button, and they'll take you quickly to a login screen. You just enter your login name and password, and off you go to Toondoo. You can tell that you're signed in by looking at the left top left-hand corner and you'll see Toondoo saying hi with your username. You are now able to create your first cartoon. For this tutorial, we will begin by making a tune. Click on the Tunes button and you will see the following options. Create Tune. Click on Create Tune. This is the layout page. It shows the different styles of tune layouts. Choose your layout and you will enter the main page for Toondoo. This is the main tune page. You have a lot of tools to choose from on this page. The first button on the top left is Tune Do Start Here. It's the place where you can save, open, and start a new cartoon or give feedback to Tune Do. We will start with the tools on the top of the page. The first tab is where you can choose a character. There are plenty of categories to choose from. Jambov or bears, men, women, kids, animals, birds, sport, unusual, famous, emoticons, and stick figures. Each category has many figures to choose from. If you want to have one character as many positions, it is best to choose the jambavs or the stick figures. Let's start by choosing a person. All you do is grab a character and place them onto the board. Next, you can add your background. The backgrounds are scenery, space, fantasy, abstract, indoors, outdoors, landmarks, and sports. So yet again, you have a lot to choose from. Okay, so now you have your first scene. Let's add a background. Let's try something like this. Okay, so now you have your first scene. Maybe you need some props or some extra add-ins to make your scene just perfect. Here, you can choose from celebrations, eatables, plants, trees, outdoors, indoors, shapes, logos, and sports. I will add a tree to the picture. There are several tools you can use to change the look of your tune. This toolbar is located at the bottom of the screen below your tune space. As you can see, this is a click and use toolbar. If you click on one piece of your tune, say a prop, you can manipulate it through these options. Lock. Lock will lock it into place. You cannot change its size, shape, or color. Shrink. This will make your prop smaller on the tune. Enlarge. This will make your prop larger on the tune. Clone. This will make a copy of your prop so you can make more of one of the same thing. Flip. 
This will change your prop to a mirrored image of itself. You still only have one image. Rotate. These two buttons allow you to rotate your image left or right to the point that you want them. Delete. This button will delete whatever image you have clicked on. You can also drag the image off of the screen and it will delete it. Prop. Once you have placed a prop on your tune, you can click this button to change the prop. For example, if I pick a tree, the prop button may show it with no leaves, just a stump, or with all the leaves. Emotion. This button changes the facial features of your tune to show different emotions. Posture. It's similar to the emotion button, but it changes the posture of your tune. Color. This will change the color of your tune. It will change to black and gray, and back to black and white, and then to color. Many of these tool buttons can be used in combinations, such as clone and flip, to have twins looking at each other. The other tools on this toolbar include Doodler, Trader, and Imaginer. Doodler allows you to paint on your picture. You can choose color, brush stroke, whatever you want. The Picker tool lets you match a color already in use, and the Undo and the Redo and the Clear buttons do just what they say for editing. The Brush button allows you to freehand or create straight lines. The next button is the Trader tool. This allows you to create your own characters. It has many features to allow many different types, shapes of head, eyes, ears, etc. You can choose the body posture, you can choose the color of the clothes, you can easily change the expression and then save your creation to your gallery to use it in your own tunes. The next button is the Imaginer button. Once you cl click this, it allows you to bring pictures and images from your computer or another website. Very useful. There's also a small button up here that you can click on to have it reproduce the whole scene on your picture again in case you want to keep using the same characters and the same scene. It makes it really easy to keep going. The final button on the far right is for signing up for the advanced version. At this time, we will ignore it. Don't forget to save your tune when you're finished. Simply click on the Tune Do Start Here button, click on Save, and many options will appear. You can give it a title, a description, tags, you can set the language. If you're in a group, you might want to click on Let Others Redo, which means others can edit your work. If you want people to be able to purchase the tune, you can click there. Your other options are, you can publish to the world so everyone gets to see it, you can keep it private or you can share it with friends. Simply click on Publish and your Toondo will be saved. When you come back to Toondo, you simply go to the Start Here main menu, click on Open, and you'll see your tunes that you've already saved. We hope you've enjoyed this basic introduction to Toondo, and we hope that you'll explore it even more as you continue along. Thank you.